So I wanted to make today's video talking a little bit about why I decided I'm going to do an Ironman. Believe it or not, I used to wake up every morning at 4.30 a.m., get to the gym by 5 a.m., work out till 6, and then get home and shower and have breakfast all before 7 a.m. And that was probably the most disciplined point in my life. And I did that for about four months before I stopped. And ever since I stopped doing that, I never really got back to that same level of consistency when it comes to exercising. I still do exercise, but not like every day like I did back when I was waking up at 4.30. So that's part of the reason why I decided I'm going to do an Ironman, is I think that having that ambitious goal to work towards is really gonna help motivate me to get back to a really consistent, almost daily exercise schedule. This is really cool, check this out. That guy up there is an osprey. And they make these nests, these poles, that they go up and hang out on. So yeah, I just feel like doing that Ironman is just really going to help with my consistency when it comes to exercise. And I think it's also going to help in other areas of my life. Because I found that when I'm the most consistent exercising is also when I'm the most disciplined and productive in other areas of my life. And I think it just comes from like the cognitive benefits that come with exercising. Um, I read a book one time called Spark and it was all about this, uh, the research of the brain and how exercise affects the brain and it is really remarkable and you can kind of just feel it after like you've done a run or after you've done some exercise and you just kind of like feel that more like mental clarity and better ability to focus and stuff so that's kind of like part of the plan of why I'm doing Ironman is to help in other areas of my life as well, help in terms of like productivity discipline, creativity, and I think it's really gonna help with that. I also think it's just gonna be fun to explore these different kinds of exercise. Like last year I was working on my journey to 10 kilometers and that was kind of like all running and all running training. And I think it's gonna be really cool to explore like the biking uh, exercise and also swimming exercise. Cause I usually just swim for fun, but uh, swimming like the train is gonna be an interesting challenge and uh, biking has already been a challenge too. I am working on another Ironman video, which is called the, like, the plan for Ironman, will, where I'll go through and explain my plan for um, each of the different segments of the Ironman because I kind of got to be like my own coach and like everything, I'm kind of doing this all on my own. And so in that video, I'll lay out more of like a detailed plan. So be sure you're subscribed for that. There's the Osprey there, he's going up. I'll see if I can get a closer shot. It's pretty sick. They got their babies up there already. That's pretty sweet. The robins are out in spring looking for their worms. Oh, there he comes back. Whoa, that's so cool. It is such a cool time of year here in spring. All the animals are getting like super excited and all the plant life is like really growing. So it's just, it's a cool time. And I'm also just really happy that it's spring and I get to do more videos outside. And uh, yeah, it's just gorgeous spending time out here. I also think it's just gonna be like a really good like personal challenge for me. I've never really like, I guess the 10K was like the farthest I've really like pushed myself to see like how far I could go and like what my body's capable of. And so I think this Ironman challenge and the other goals I have leading up to it, like the half marathon and the half Ironman, it's just gonna be really cool to push my body and in turn become like more in tune with my body and more in tune with myself. Cause I think there's like a certain level of like clarity of thought and stuff that is only really achievable through like endurance activities like that. Um, I read a lot of books, uh, like right now I'm reading Scott Jurek's Eat and Run, and I've also read like David Goggins, uh, Rich Roll, and like all these people that do these like ultra marathon events and these like high endurance events, they all talk about this like kind of like mental clarity, I guess is a word you could use, but like just as like ways of thought that you can't really like achieve any other way. And so I think it's like really cool, like the cognitive benefits that's going to come from it. And even when I was just out on my training run the other day, like 
I kind of like got excited about like all the training that I'll be doing in the future just because of like the way it makes you feel like especially running I find um, but just all forms of cardio exercise in general and uh, and swimming is just like such a beautiful activity as well and I, I'm just I'm just really excited to do all the different like training for Ironman and I've already started all that and I'll talk more about it in my plan for Ironman video so be sure to stay tuned for that check out this old van I found here <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to make this like short video just talking a little bit about why I decided to do an Ironman. Sometimes I think it's a little bit crazy, but uh, then I read like James Lawrence who did like 101 of them in 101 days. I'm like, if that guy can do like 101, surely I could do one, right? So, but it is gonna be in 2024. If you haven't seen my video yet about uh, pushing yourself with ambitious goals, I'll link it up here on the left side or the right side, one of the sides. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's kind of like where I lay out uh, my different goals for the years coming forward. And then, like I said, I'll make a more in-depth like plan for Ironman video where I'm talking more about um, the, how I'm gonna tackle the swim portion, the bike portion, and the run portion. So yeah, really looking forward to the future. I'm looking forward to like this training season and just like the nice weather and being able to uh, get out there and train in the nice weather. So. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video and the nice weather and the cool wildlife that was featured in it as well. And I'll see you guys all next week. Thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and check out all the other videos I have on the channel. I make new videos about self-improvement every single week. Thanks so much for watching and have a good one. Peace. So this guy's all by himself here. Oh, there he goes. Nice, nice shit for you. <laughs>